Hello, Cheapskaters. I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome. And if it's not, welcome back. We are really glad to have you with us. This is take two of a video that I recorded a while ago. And for whatever reason, Gremlin struck and it had no sound. So we'll try again. We've already tested the sound. There is sound on this video. I won't get right to the end and have nothing. I'm going to show you how to make iced coffee syrup. The weather is warming up here in Australia. We're heading in, well, we're in summer now. It's the 2nd of December already. And that means, for me, iced coffee. Now, anyone that knows me knows I'm a bit of a coffee snob. And I like particular types of coffee and I very, very rarely stray and I'm loyal to those particular types of coffee. So when Joy of Quilting posted the recipe for her new iced coffee syrup way back in, I think it was about 2011, might have been a bit earlier. It was a long, long time ago. I tried it and I love it. And I've been making it ever since. My kids love it. Friends and visitors love it. My mother-in-law even liked it and she never drank coffee. So there you go. It is a great recipe. Now, if you're a fan of iced coffee, you will know how expensive they are. $5.50 up, depending on where you get it from. So that can add up, you know, even one or two a week adds up quite significantly over the course of a year when it's coming out of your bank. So mooing iced coffee syrup is so simple. Four ingredients, five minutes of your time, and it's done. So without wasting any more of your time, I'm going to get started, show you just how easy it is and then we'll come back and have a chat about it when we've made it. Okay, so give me a moment and I'll take you over to the stove because this is a stove top recipe. Okay, I have a pot, a large pot. This is my biggest saucepan without going into the stock pot size. Into that, I am going to put where, where's the camera? I've forgotten which camera I'm on. 50 grams of instant coffee. Now, you can use whatever instant coffee you like. We like Nescafe, so that's what I'm using. I'm also going to add one whole kilo of sugar. Now, if you are cringing and saying that's a lot of sugar, yes, it is. But this is a syrup. Okay, so it is going to be sweet. Then I am going to add 500 mils of water, half a litre of water. Because what we're basically going to do is make a simple syrup, but a coffee flavoured simple syrup. So let me turn on the heat. Oh my God, do I have flames? Am I using the right one? Yes, I have flames. I'll let it go out again. I have more trouble with this new cooktop, guys. Oh, give it a rest, Kat. Come on, right there we go. I think because I'm not used to the old cooktop, I had to use a gas lighter. I'm not used to it. So sugar, coffee, and water. What we're going to do is stir over the heat until the sugar's dissolved and then let it come to the boil and I'm going to boil it for about a minute until it's thick and syrupy because we're making syrup. Okay. Now, you can hear. Can you see? Oh, yeah, you can see it. That's good. Now, I'm using Nescafe, just regular Nescafe 
in this. I do have in the fridge the first batch I made for you that didn't go through. And I made that using decaf because often in the afternoons, as in you know, today, it's afternoon already, I like I like a cold drink of something. Um, but I don't necessarily need or want the caffeine. So decaf iced coffee syrup it is. And it works really well. Now, to make the decaf iced coffee syrup, I use the Coles brand decaf instant coffee. It is delicious. Fraction of the price of other brands, including the um, Nescafe decaf. But it is so good. It tastes really good. And I am fussy about my coffee. I do not like a lot of the cheaper coffees. I don't like Makona. It tastes weird to me. Now, as this heats up, the coffee will dissolve, as will the sugar. Scrape it down and keep stirring because I want that sugar to dissolve. Scrape it, scrape it. Now, so you can use whatever coffee you like, Aldi, if you like the Aldi coffee. If you like Makona, go ahead and use Makona. It's not my favourite. I wouldn't do it. Love the jars, though. Um, whatever brand of instant coffee you like. Now, I mentioned about the sugar, the kilo of sugar, and people going, oh, that's a lot of sugar, that's a lot of sugar. The first time you make this recipe, make it with the kilo of sugar. You are making a one-on-one -on -one simple syrup. So... You want to do that. If you find it too sweet, you can cut back the sugar. But as with all new recipes, make it according to the recipe. Follow the directions. Use the ingredients listed and try it first. Once you've done that, then you can tweak it and make it your own. But until that happens, because if you, I get lots of emails from people saying, I tried your whatever and it didn't work. And when I go back and say, well, did you do this? this? Oh, no, well, I, I didn't want to have that much and I took out this. Our washing powder is a prime example. There is borax in our washing powder for a reason, folks. And it's not there just you know, for an added ingredient. The borax is there for a reason. Borax is a stain lifter. If you want your cheapskates washing powder to work, use borax. Now, if you are ethically opposed to using borax, that's fine. Don't use it. But please don't complain when the washing powder doesn't do what it's supposed to do because you have changed the recipe. And that applies to cooking too. If you change the recipe, the outcome is not going to be what it should be. It will be, it might be similar, but it will not be the same. So when you first make this syrup, use the one kilo of sugar. If you find it too sweet, then next time you make it, cut back the sugar. And on that note, no, I have never made it with an artificial sweetener. I don't use artificial sweeteners, so I cannot tell you whether you could or what it would taste like. If you want to try it, by all means do and put in the comments below so that we know that you've tried it with um, Splendor or Equal or whatever is going around and what it tastes like. Okay, so the sugar's all dissolved. Still got some coffee on my spoon though. That doesn't. We're just going to wait for it to come up to a boil because we want it to be thick. You want it to be really, really thick. It's a syrup. It's not just... Now, I'm going to grab a spoon out of my drawer. My knife will do. Because there's a little bit of coffee on my spoon that's not dissolved, so it can go in and get dissolved. 
you don't want to waste any flavor any coffee flavor at all now this makes really nice gifts you will get about a liter and a half from this recipe so three 500 ml bottles or one liter bottle if you want to gift it and it makes a nice gift you could gift it with a recipe card attached if you think someone would make it if you have a coffee lover on your gift list Now I'll leave it now and let it come up with the to the boil. And while we're talking, these are the bottles. And I'm going to have to switch over now. I'm not. These are the bottles that we use. These came from two dollar shop. It's got that um, lever corky thing. They are airtight and liquid tight. They don't spill if they get knocked over. Really good. That's what I keep the coffee syrup in. It's starting to come up to the boil. Can you see that? To simmer. I'll give it a bit of a stir. Um, that's what I use in the fridge. Those jars, bottles, to keep it chilled in the fridge. It will keep for about two weeks in the fridge. I have never had it longer because we go through it fairly quickly, especially the decaf one. Um, okay, I can turn the heat off now and I'm going to take it off this burner so that it cools down. Let's move it over here so that it cools down and I'll give it a stir because we still have to add one more ingredient and the rest of the water. But I don't want to do it until it's cooled down just a little I don't want it to volcano on me as sugar syrups I want to do when you add cold to them. All right, next ingredient is um, vanilla. This is my homemade vanilla, my Moo vanilla, and it's not looking very dark, but it smells amazing. It smells wonderful. So, oh, and there goes the volcano. why I'm taking it slow okay all right we go over here now and I will slowly 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 pour in the rest of the water so you've got the ingredients 50 grams of coffee a kilo of sugar a litre of water and vanilla. Okay. All right, now this has to cool down before I can bottle it. But that's it. That's how easy it is to make. It, it's even easier to drink. So let me just come back over here so you can see me and we can look at each other in the eye. And there we go. How easy was that? It literally takes minutes. Costs very, very little. Whatever a kilo of sugar is, about a dollar. Probably about 10 cents for the vanilla, dollar 10. And your coffee, I have no idea. The coffee's about $3. It works out to about not quite about fifty per 500 ml bottle by the time I was finished. I would need to check those figures again. But there you go. We waste the coffee syrup. Why would you go to a cafe and pay $5.50 or more for the same thing? And it's really, really good. And you can do decaf. You can do regular coffee. Use your favourite coffee. It does not really matter what you use. So, that's it. Hopefully we've got to the end of this without any disasters. Time will tell and truth will tell in the editing, won't it? Anyway, before I go, thank you again for watching. If you've made it all the way through, I will post the recipe for this or the link to the recipe um, in the description box below me. 
because it is on our website and it is one of the most popular recipes on our website. It's also one of the easiest recipes on our website. Three things you could do for me though before you go. Like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel if you're not already subscribed and hit that share button and send the link for this to someone you know who might love to know how easy it is to make iced coffee syrup at home or who might like to know more about the Cheapskates Club and living life debt free, cashed up and laughing. Okay, I will be back very soon with another Cheapskates video but until then, happy Cheapskating everyone. <laughs>